Joshua Kambala is a true fighter. The captain of the Hope Refugee Basketball Team has been fighting all his life. He fled the Democratic Republic of Congo due to conflict, arriving in Cyprus in May 2020. I explained my situation to a friend who advised that I come to Cyprus to seek refuge. First I went to Turkey, then entered northern Cyprus, and then I crossed over into the south. What was supposed to be a new lease on life soon turned into a nightmare. The 17-year-old was arrested by Cypriot police and thrown into an adult prison for four months, despite being a minor. First I was kept in the police station and in the morning I was taken to the court. I explained to them that I was a refugee, but I was told I had violated lockdown and curfew regulations. It was not easy for me because I had never been in prison before. Thousands of asylum seekers follow Kambale's route each year. They arrive in southern Cyprus from Turkey. Once here, they must spend months at the Ponara Reception Center, located about 10 kilometers outside the capital Nicosia. The camp is overcrowded, sanitation is poor, and access to social services limited. Many of the residents here rely on donations from groups like Generation for Change. Etinoza says he started a group after witnessing the appalling conditions faced by refugees. We usually get people to donate clothes, food and any other things, blankets especially in the winter period, and then we direct and distribute these items to the individuals in the camp to provide a little bit of comfort, but mostly it's the fact that we want to show our solidarity to those who have went through, to the vulnerable. Once you leave the camp, uh, you have two months period before you're able to re receive your benefits. And because there might be different delays when it comes to the benefits, uh, individuals might not have access to food or hygiene essentials or clothes. Usually those who are leaving the camp, they come in contact with us that, or they, and they tell us about their needs, and then we try to attend to their needs as much as possible. And those needs are many. After repeated criticism of living conditions at the Ponara camp, the president of Cyprus promised a more humane treatment of migrants. But for Professor Nikos Timrik-Lignotis, the government is deliberately frustrating refugees. Once you do manage to put, submit your application, is your reception conditions. The reception conditions are absolutely appalling. It's embarrassing. Ponara resembles Moria. Moria is a, was, uh, is a disgrace for Greece. Purnara is our Moria. It's a disgrace for Cyprus. But also those who leave Purnara and are staying outside, the reception conditions there, accessing rights, accessing the labor market, especially if you're African, if you're black, you're treated, discrimination is rampant, it's everywhere. It really is a, a very a terrible situation to, to be uh, an asylum seeker in Cyprus. As they plan their next move, Several young Africans are trapped on this beautiful Mediterranean island, unable to leave. Back on the court, basketball helps Kambala and his teammates to forget all their past traumas. Here, the focus is on one thing, to be the next basketball star.